Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try Two Point Perspective by the Drafting Table Brewing Company or Drafting Table Brewing Company, New England IPA. Um, this is double dry hopped with Galaxy and Citra hops. A tropical and stone fruit aroma. Uh, stone fruit I do get out of Galaxy. To me, we'll have to see. It, it's it's more of a passion fruit that I think it smells like, but we'll see. On the bitterness scale, this is two and a, uh, a quarter hop cones. 6.5% ABV. Uh, enjoy uh, fresh from a glass. Contains wheat, obviously, to make a New England IPA. Uh, wheat is used just to keep it cloudy, all the protein and the yeast. $3.49. Which I think is a good price. I did pick this up at Megabev. Let's go ahead and get it open, see what we think. I was going to check untapped. I didn't see it on the actual can if they did show the IBUs of it. 40. So untapped is saying 40 IBUs. So for the head, it is off-white, uh, small and medium bubbles in there, about a finger of head from that pour. If we look at the color, yeah, yellow, kind of bright yellow in color, very, very hazy like you think uh, New England would be. Lots of bubbles coming up. It, from the amount of bubbles, it looks like it could be overcarved, but that's just me looking. Uh, let's go ahead and smell. Definitely get those tropical fruits. A little, and I've been seeing this a lot lately. I've been picking up on it, and I don't know if it's because of my home brews, but it does have a, a, a hop characteristic there, like an over hopped. Not saying it's bad, but I can just smell them. It's kind of vegetal grassy in there. Yeah, if anything, very low tropical fruit, and that's about it. Stone fruit, I really don't get that, um, but I could see the, the tropical fruit overpowering um, that stone fruit in the smell, at least. A little sweetness in there, but that's about it. Let's go ahead and taste and see what we get. The, the first thing that pops out is the bitterness. Like it feels like that bitterness is staying in there um, or it's upped a little bit, which I do like in my New England IPAs. I'd rather have it be a little bit more bitter than sweet. And that's what at least the initial impression is that that bitterness, like from the middle of the palate all the way to the aftertaste just sticks with you. The body, at least to me, and I don't know if it's just because I've had a lot of double New England IPAs, it seems a little watered down. I do get that galaxy, but again, it almost comes off as a passion fruit. This doesn't, it's very subtle. It's like you do get that tropical fruit, but I get more of the tropical fruit in the aftertaste. But there is some in the taste, and it, it almost seems like it, it is suppressing that galaxy a little bit. Stone fruit, if, if that's what you want to call it. Let's go ahead and shake the rest of this up and get it in there. Yeah, but if anything, it seems like the bitterness level is growing, which is that a bad thing? No, um, it, it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, even though it had the bitterness. So I don't know if that extra bitterness is cutting out some of that sweetness or because the body feels a little watered down 
if there's just not as much sweetness in there. Because usually, it, I don't think it says, yeah, I don't think they're using lactose, so that sweetness would, would come from the grain itself. Well, yeah, I still, I still, man, I, I still don't get, I'm looking for passion fruit because uh, even in my home brews, um, that's what it came out as, like a big passion fruit, not a stone fruit. But this, it's not, it really doesn't have a smell as I've been sticking my nose down in the beer. Um, so yeah, that swirling didn't help that. It did help the galaxy though. Um, uh, again, I'm going to go with passion fruit. Uh, it's more passion fruit that's coming out now. Um, I think it does overpower that tropical fruit fruitiness that it says it has. Um, hmm. Still good though. Yeah, I think, it, I, again, I don't know if, I don't think you would, you're going to stir this up, this can up enough, if you drink it out of here. So, unless you had a taller glass, I don't think, I think at the end, or if you do drink some, then pour the rest in there, then it would come out. Um, I would say, and this is kind of weird, my one complaint about this is I, I think the bitterness is a little too much. There's no date on the can, but it seems it, it just stays there. It, it, it doesn't go away. And um, in the other New England IPAs I've had, you know, that bitterness kind of goes away. But maybe it's from the sugar, the sweetness in the beer where this doesn't have as much sweetness, 6.5, maybe if it was seven. I don't wanna say 7.5, because then you're getting into a double New England IPA. Definitely a good one though. I would have to go with a four out of five. Um, I think um, you really don't pull as much citrus. I think if I remember correctly, citrus can have some pine. Um, I don't really get that, so I think they are going for the tropical fruit like they say, and I think that stone fruit slash passion fruit really overtakes this beer, also the bitterness. Um, so I would go with a four out of five. Let's check untapped. One of my friends has checked it in, a four out of five. Almost 400 people have checked it in, average 4.02 out of five. I don't know, did that? I'm, I'm pretty sure I said it, but this is double dry hopped. Um, yeah, and because only one friend had it and they didn't leave a comment. So yeah, definitely one, if you can find this in your area for $3.49, definitely one I would pick up and try. If you enjoyed this video, check some more videos out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.